Community Season 3, Episodes 19 and 20. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to next week's episodes of Community. Last week, two fantastic and oddly sad episodes, to be honest, right? 17, The Yams, Law & Order episode, one of my favorites of the show, I will say. I think they did a fucking fantastic job with that and nailing the way, you know, Law, Law & Order kind of does their stuff. They did a fantastic job transferring that over to community and making it still feel like community without kind of pushing it too far, if that makes sense. I think they did a great job with that. And then episode 18, you know, obviously the end of episode 17, we ended with Starburns, his meth lab exploding and him being killed. But episode 18 was kind of his memorial and things like that. And then at the end, the group got expelled. So we are in some dark times, man. We have lost Alex, AKA Starburns. And the group is expelled. So I'm excited to see what we have in store because we're coming up on the end of the season too. Like I said, I think the Dean is gonna, you know, they're gonna figure out the Dean was replaced. They're gonna bring Craig back, yada, yada. They're gonna get it reversed, obviously, at some point. We got a couple more seasons of this, but regardless, guys, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into these episodes. Before we do, I do ask for you guys on the new channel. You do hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you guys in this next man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next four episodes. If you guys wanna check that out, link in the description down below. But we're gonna go ahead we're gonna hop into these episodes still together as a group even what two months after being kicked out of you know where two months here's all you said was i'm hungry all henry ford said was i need a ride <laughs> our friend has been having a hard time adjusting to being expelled from <laughs> greendale it won't happen again that's for sure i talked to your former dean I recommended he press charges he said he'd hold off on the condition that you set an appointment with this guy He's offering to foot the bill for the consultation himself. It's the number for a psychiatrist. What? Mm. No! Abed's not crazy. What does the dean get off? He's not the real dean. He's been replaced by an identical life form for some nefarious purpose. Yeah, they don't believe him, but he's right. Quite a nifty little piece of Americana. You could get 50, 60 bucks for it from the right collector. Mm. You don't say. I watch a lot of Antiques Roadshow. Mm -hmm. Anyway, walk to your cars in pairs tonight. Rapes up 8%. What? You're just gonna throw that out there? <laughs> just randomly? $60? Hello, rich people? Troy's joining you. Yes, I'll hold. Come on, Troy. To be fair, I used to watch Pawn Stars on the History Channel a lot. That was a good-ass show, but I haven't, I haven't watched that in a long time. I haven't watched just regular TV in a long time, right? Like, I know I do these TV show reactions, but, like, sitting on the couch, you know, watching the History Channel and stuff like that. It's been a long ass time, but man, it's been three fucking months since they were expelled. That is crazy. And the crazier part is Abed is right, but nobody's going to believe him. That's a perfectly normal response. I concur with Dr. Heidi's diagnosis. Jesus Christ, I, Britta. I haven't diagnosed anything yet. Psych major, got your back, bro. I have to say, I didn't expect to see so many of you. It's his family. All of this behavior started after you were expelled? May have been a ramp up. It's okay, buddy. Just a few more minutes and we're good until spring, okay? But it doesn't make any sense. Think of it this way. We'll get the hour back later in the year. <laughs> He's like, they're gonna change it again. The time changed, man. To be fair, time is just a, a human construct, right? It really means nothing. You know what I'm gonna say? He's the new Spielberg. Oh. I have to go. You're a bad person. You're a bad person. <laughs> he said, don't disrespect Spielberg like that. <laughs> his brittle bones straining to support the weight of his wrinkly skin. <laughs> Stop narrating me. He shouted to no one, just a man alone in time with nothing but the cold squishiness of tuna salad to comfort him. I take it back. I don't want to be in your novel. Fierce Rawthorn had nearly lost his grip on reality. Lately, he'd begun to think that he was in a novel. <laughs> that is fantastic. If I've been sick, then we're all sick. Yeah. yeah. Can't determine a person's sanity from a few amusing stories. Yeah. Exactly. Right. I mean, if anything, Abed's more sane than any of us. He was the only one who passed that test that Britta gave him, right? Who among us hasn't had the odd banana in his or her pants, right? I have. <laughs> what? Britta, what? Kind of Britney Spears moment? How long does peyote last? Mm. Try and Abed and Annie in the morning. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing, my ass. What are all these cameras doing? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. 
she tried to steal their show. Just don't eat anything or drink anything. And no sweating. Or bending at the elbows and no chairs with backrests. And if you take it off, wooden hangers only. Eh. On second thought, I don't want the coat. I spent all my money. Boy, you can't bring that in here. Yes, I can. It's all terrain, dummy. <laughs> Karate championship second place. I'll be unstoppable. <laughs> oh, yeah. He thinks that he unlocked that ability. <laughs> I think I've heard everything I need to hear in order to make a decision. I think that Ovid should be committed. Damn. You mean committed to his character work, right? Because he already is. Ovid, show him you're Don Draper. Cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean an institution. And he liked that. <laughs> you mean like marriage? I mean a mental institution. Jeez, what did you expect bringing him here, man? You know what I mean? But this is who he is, you know? We accept him for who he is. Look, yeah. Abed's obsession with Greendale doesn't make him crazy. <laughs> if you had gone to school there, you'd be obsessed with it too. It was a messed up place. We had lockers. Yeah, we're survivors. My name is Professor Wabinswim. Who's ready to learn? Baby talk class. It's inhumane. You have a better idea, Britta? Yes, what? thousands of them. <laughs> Yo! Oh my gosh! Hey. <laughs> Playing chess with humans! That's all for today. Read chapter four. What? Dude, easiest credit ever. Okay, oh my we gosh. just gotta ignore that. Bro, who had the gun? Excuse me, sir. Can we get to our. <laughs> Settle your bones, Rufus. We got a long road tomorrow. Bro, nice ass Malinois. I was there longer than anybody, and I'm fine. How are you? Why do you ask? 3.30. <laughs> Uh-oh. He doesn't know what's going on. Is there a fire drill? No, sir. There's an actual fire. I wanted you guys to be the first to know before I tell everyone else. I know. <laughs> it's not right to play favorites, but it's no more right <laughs> to sit on your feelings, and I don't know what I'd do without you guys. <laughs> he said, I just want to make sure I save you guys. And I love that they keep the continue, uh, continuing with everything they've had throughout the season, right? Because the fire alarm wasn't working before it was fake, so he didn't, he Darcy, wasn't able to pull one. Ooh, You're sick? Go home! Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here! Damn. He had Annie's back. Troy and Jeffrey and Annie and Britta and Shirley and Pierce and Abed and Jeffrey. Just a few of the most special students in the world. He really did play favorites. What is this? Damn it out of slugs. Next time I'll put you square, you Another pickle sucking McGillicuddy. <laughs> Maybe this is their way of giving a nod to the paintball this season without actually doing a full paintball episode. Something weird is going on with that school. Abed doesn't need to be here. We need to be there. Mm. Bro, so you're telling me the Dean has literally been a hostage? No, you can't go back to Green Day. Why? Because it isn't healthy? Because it doesn't exist. What? Pop my meter. Oh, uh, no, you it's because... Wait, what? That's right. This is the this is the dude that the fake Dean hired. So obviously he has this agenda. You all spent three years there, but it was not a community college. An insane asylum. What about Pierce, though? Yep. These memories that you people have been sharing are a shared psychosis. Community college after your lives fractured Pill addiction, failed legal career, broken marriage, lost scholarship, old. Dislocated shoulders. He said old. So the Dean has been a hostage literally for these past three months. See the secret trampoline we oh, found? No, it's That's so Leonard in great. the back. <laughs> uh, Annie. Is that supposed to be the paintball episode? Yep. <laughs> for everything in the world. Terry, stop reenacting all the scenes. Should we increase their lithium? Not yet. I want to see what happens if we confiscate one of their pens. That was when they stole the monkey was stealing the pens. He really made all that shit up. Oh boy, sounds so different. Crisis alert! You just have to accept the truth. This is gaslighting at its finest. Crazy. No way Shirley believes that, right? Plus, Pierce was there for 10 years. I had to do a little riffing at the end, but I was pretty convincing. 
Well, if yep. it looks like I'm sneaking out the window, it's just a symptom of your deepening psychosis. Don't hurt me. Greendale doesn't exist? How long do you think we'd buy that? I'm literally carrying a Greendale bag. <laughs> I have like a thousand pictures of the campus on my phone. I have children I see every day. I have definitely not been locked up. Get yeah. him! <laughs> Pierce was late. The point is, your dean was kidnapped by Ben Chang and replaced yep. with the double. I was hired to get you off the scent. Chang kidnapped the yep. dean? Even for him, that's insane. Is it? Yeah. Think about it. Is he doing lines? Oh my gosh. Damn, bro. What is this? Chang needs to be in an insane asylum. We need to rescue the Dean. We need to get back to that school. And we definitely never need to do another paintball. Yeah. See? Therapy does work. We're cured. <laughs> That's so sad, man. That's their callback. It, it's good for what it is. You can't continue it on all the time, right? All good things come to an end. So I guess we don't get a paintball episode this season. Our next caller is Annie E. What's on your mind tonight, Annie? Hey, guys. Long time. First time. Love the show. Of course oh, she's up. You. How can we help? You can shut up and go to sleep! Damn. <laughs> Troy and I've been in the morning. Nice. <laughs> Night edition. Wow. What an episode, man. Three months have passed, dude. That is insane when you think about it, right? Like, three months. First of all, Community Season 3, Episode 19 is in the books, but three months have passed. The Dean has been kidnapped for three months. Like, most of the stuff they do in the show, like, sometimes, like, a lot of times, like, holy shit, that's fucking crazy, but it's like, you can brush it off or whatever. But the Dean being kidnapped for three months, like, is Shang's character about to end up in jail permanently or in an insane asylum finally? Like, Three fucking months, dude. I thought we were going to come into this episode. It was maybe a couple days or a week. <coughs> or like maybe it had just gone over the weekend. Now it's Monday or something. They were going to get things figured out. But three months, man. And it makes so much sense, too, that the psychiatrist, right, was trying to push that on them. But gaslighting at its fucking finest, man. You see how he literally got them to believe, even if it was only for a few minutes, that Greendale was not a college. You see how easy that was for him, man. Not only that, but Pierce literally has been there, he said, for like 10 years, not four. And then surely she's got her kids and stuff. But I get it. It's, it. Sometimes, you know, when you come up with something like that, it it's easy to believe. You know what I mean? Like, dude is a professional gaslighter, but holy shit, man. Three months. Oh, another two-parter episode, though. I'm excited to see what we have for the next one. Hopefully, we do get the Dean rescued again. We're coming to the end of the season. I think after this episode... Let me double check. I think we have either two or four episodes left uh, for this season. Yeah, we only have two episodes left after this, 21 and 22, and then we're on to season four, which is sad because season three has been the best season of the show thus far. We aren't even to the end of it, but it has 100% been the best season of the show thus far, man, and I I'm fucking loving it. It's fucking great, man. You know what I mean? They, they, they literally redid specific scenes that we saw them have at the community college in the insane asylum. You know, we saw from a different point of view, like what's going on in their heads as the psychiatrist is explaining to them that it was an insane asylum, not a community college. And then they're like, hmm, maybe these memories were this or this. You know, you saw like Garrett, he was like the assistant to the dean who was like the head doctor, I would assume there that they showed. You had fucking Leonard in the background, you know, just doing something at the table. And it kind of explains all these characters. And it's it's just crazy how easy he was able to gaslight them in, you know, but fantastic fucking episode i'm excited to see what we have in store for the next one i'm excited to see how we're gonna take down shang man again i hope his character doesn't literally get kind of booted from the show so to speak storyline wise because i do like his character granted as i keep saying season one shang was definitely peak chang but i still like his character a lot man so excited to see what we have in store for the next one so guys we're gonna hop into it lavar burton was a maybe mr Hoffman. damn no! i apologize gilbert even from the grave. Yes! Got you by that short and curly, salt and peppery. Holy shit! My name is Gilbert Lawson. I was Cornelius Hawthorne's assistant for over 30 years. And before that, I was just a teenager who read the Bible to him in the bath. Ew. Uh, right, what? Right, it's inheritance time. How about that check, soul brother? Cornelius mm -hmm. spent over 30 years developing a video game for you. It was his dying wish that you and seven of your closest friends would play it. Wow. Our burden, so maybe. Dude, they got fucking Gus in here. Journey to the center of Hawthorne. Oh no. <laughs> is this the intro for the show? Yo, this is so unique. This is crazy, man. 
What episode was it earlier in the season? The, 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 the foosball one where they did a little anime stuff. Now we got this. Which one is me? I assume nothing because wow. I'm not racist. Oh, <laughs> <you're> adorable. <laughs> it's like Super Mario. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Hey. Hold on, I'm coming. Oh! Dart, oh. shoot. Oh. Oh. Hey. Dang! Pierce is still Pierce? stuck this down game here. Makes no sense. What happened to you? I don't want to talk about it. Pierce, point the joystick right. <laughs> it's about right. Dude, is the whole episode gonna be this? Oh, look at Gus. My man Gus been playing this game probably for years. I designed this game to be played upon my death by you and whatever cabal of fruits, juggies, and sluts you call your friends. Her name is Britta. Only one Her friend name. Win. The first to reach my throne inside Castle Hawthorne. Their reward, Pierce, will be your inheritance. Damn. Damn. So you see, Pierce, turns out you were right. Video games are important. He's trying to turn his friends against each other and against him. You're not supposed to cooperate. You're supposed to compete. Thanks for the advice, but I think we can choose how we want to play. I suppose we can. Is he being ominous? Why are you being ominous? Whoa, we can pick He's stuff gonna up. Start. This game is more complex than you can imagine. And aside from its programmers, wow. who have all been deported back to China, I'm the one who knows how it works. Damn. He's gonna end up killing them all, huh? And taking his inheritance, probably. Holy hell. Bro. The way he fixes his glasses. Wait. He's oh a my psychopath. gosh. He Bro, he just suffocated him. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect villain. Be my guest. <laughs> 30 seconds after you leave your chairs, the weight sensors will recognize it as an automatic forfeit. Weight, weight sensors? Sensor. <laughs> after you squandered the last of your savings, I'll watch you ride penniless in the gutter through a telescope in the penthouse office of Hawthorne Tower. <laughs> You can leave notes. This scheme is incredible. Pierce, he feels bad. While he's fighting for greed, we're fighting for friendship, which means we can't lose, okay? Okay. Mm, I don't okay. know if that's what that means. I guess mm. there's no hug button. Let's let's learn the controls a little bit first. The transition castle locks on doors up here. You unlock the castle with the white crystal of discipline, which you must free mm. from the black caverns. I'm picking up on some hidden symbolism. Right, white crystal. You think Dad was in a meth? <laughs> I have information on the following topics. Oh my god. Holy crap, where have you been my whole life? <laughs> uh, uh, Abed's about to learn all the controls, isn't he? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh my god. Oh, what are you doing? It was an accident. He's dying. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now you get all your shit for free. Damn. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, now you get free weapons and armor. Stop oh. playing like a girl. Here's the thing about women, Jeff. We don't hack and slash our way through life because we're one with life. Help me hide the body. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh shit, and she's pregnant. You gotta kill her too. Damn! No witnesses. Grab everything you can carry. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Ben, it, don't get weird. Oh, I won't. She's not ready for anything serious, but she wants me to meet her family. Uh, My father is the her father's a blacksmith. Oh, no. Is that hut on fire? Oh, my. What an unexplained track. Oh, my gosh. While you were shopping, I gained enough levels to do this. Oh, shit. He's shooting lightning and I'm naked. Quick, get behind us. We have armor. Bro. <laughs> They're going to have to go back to the study room. Oh, right, 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 right. Hurry up, Britta. I thought Damn. we could count Britta to not screw up drinking. Oh no, he's gonna get it! Be fun. Oh shit. What the hell? Here's hoping we can count on her to screw up making potions. She put some frog in it, right? Was that literally poison, like Jeff thought? She Britted the potion, man. Okay, now we're just cheating. Now we're just cheating. He's putting on fucking god mode. Come on. I'm gonna stay here in the village with Hilda and help her rebuild our life. Abed, wow. she's a program. People have said similar things about me. Uh-oh, he's playing the Rain Man card. Let's bounce. I've got an <laughs> inheritance to win. Offensive, called it. Shut up, Britta. Jesus. Gay island, of course. You did great in there, Jeff. Shut up, Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh no. Yeah. Super turkey. God mode. What? Come on. Look, Where'd he has you get everything. all that stuff. You've only been alive for an hour. Oh. Damn. Oh. He's hacking. Oh, he got up. I'm his son. So am I. What? Half son? Well, what? I mean, full son for him, but you know, they're half brothers. They're half white. Nice <laughs> sir. Do you remember your childhood nanny, Edda? Oh, well, shit. Edda had a hot cousin. Warning. My Player mother. Warfare. Damn. So shut up and play the game. Warning. Damn, what a plot twist, man. He has a half black brother. <laughs> or half white brother. Oh. Hello, old friend. He's been All putting right. in work. You remember Hilda? I live in the village. I love our bed. Did you just say your name? Yeah, if you max out a character's trust and affection levels, you can gain access to a front end scripting language. Watch. Oh my gosh. Wow. She can make babies for me. Oh, and I can't. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, it's okay, Troy. Each baby is capable of executing custom code, which means you can write a code that makes one baby tell another baby what to do, much like Damn. real children on a playground. They have a whole ass army. According to your complexion, I think you might be Gilbert Lawson. Is this true? Just a moment. Hello, Gilbert. Due to the nature of our relationship, I'll need your electronic signature on this legally binding agreement. It dictates that you will never ever besmirch the Hawthorne name with any outlandish notions regarding your genealogical origins. You are the bastard offspring of a colored seductress and an unknown weak-willed misogynist. And any assertion on your part to the contrary will be grounds for the seizure of this inheritance. Do mm. you agree? He's not gonna agree. Damn. Thank you for being honest, Gilbert. Goodbye. No! What do you expect? It's Pierce's dad. Oh my gosh. I bequeath my fortune to no inferiors. Wow. Yeah. Attack. What Look at this. <laughs> Exosuit, dinosaur, helicopters. Wow, they're shooting Abed's kids. <laughs> they're putting in work, but they're getting destroyed too. Jeez. Hey! Look at oh. me now, Dad! <laughs> Bro, my man's coming in with a new He suicided for it! Oh my gosh! What? Why record myself? Breathing weird <laughs> and letting you destroy me <laughs> because I am a man of honor. I'm not the one that beat you. Yes, you are. Mm. More forfeiting. Warning. Player forfeit in 30. Gilbert, you're right. You were more his son than me. You took all his crap and you didn't even get to take his name. He once sat on me in church just so he could see better. We've only been playing Damn. this game a couple of hours. You've been playing it your whole life. Get in there and kill our dad. <laughs> Dude, it's, I, it'd be cool if he was a regular character. You may need it. Oh, Pierce, what? you really don't know how this works, do you? Are you always carrying that? I wonder if he was the one who had the gun in that book last episode then. I wonder if Gus is going to be a regular character on here then. It'd be cool to see him and Pierce interact and work together. Always wanted to have a brother. <laughs> Damn. Hey, hey, settle a bet. The word mulatto. Is it, is it okay or is it borderline? We apologize for him. Oh, it's okay. He's family. Oh, ben wants to go back in. Dude, that is fucking great, man. I, I love the community little theme too that always plays. It's it's so heartwarming. I said I'd come back for you. He put her on a USB. He's gonna take her with him. It's kind of weird, but it's all bad. I guess I could get some kind of job, maybe at Beans and More. I'll probably have to work double shifts, but oh, I see. While you're off climbing the ladder at Beans and More, I'll just stay home and raise him alone. That's fine. I'll just give up <laughs> on my dreams. Here we go. <laughs> what? He he needs to learn a strong man can cry. Um. They were ready for it. <laughs> what is on the computer Logons? back there? Logons in this other universe actually called Glorbots. Interesting, man. What an episode, dude. Holy shit. Community Season 3, Episode 20. 
is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. So damn unique, man. This is what this is what community is, man. I'm just blown away. Like earlier in the season, we had the little anime moment between Jeff and uh, Shirley, you know, on their foosball table. Or I should say <laughs> Tinkle Town and Big Cheddar, right? And that was incredible. We've had the stop motion episode, and now we've had this, man. This it's like a retro video game. And this made me want to go play some retro shit. Made me want to play some of the original Pokemon games, dude. Pokemon. Oh, don't get me started. Pokemon uh, Sapphire. Oh, dude, stop. Let, let me not get into it. Cause I, I I'll go out and buy a fucking I'll go out and buy a Game Boy and play some of the OGs right now, man. When I like I, I, I okay, quick little rant. Pokemon's a shit, man. I haven't played it in a long time, a couple of years, but like I'll go on these weird ass kicks where like I won't play it for a long ass time. Then I'll be like, damn, I want to play it. I'll get it. I'll grind the shit out of it for like two, three months. And then I won't play it again for another, you know, couple of years. And I think this episode might make me fucking do that, man. Like if you got, ooh, your boy might have to, but regardless, amazing episode, man. I cannot believe they got our boy Gus. And yes, I will always refer to him as Gus, nothing else. I know I've seen him in multiple things. I know he's in the Mandalorian. I know he's in the boys. I will always refer to him as fucking Gus, man. They got fucking Gus to play in this show and now i don't know if he's gonna be a regular or even like a semi-regular right like a character that comes in every couple you know a couple times throughout the season but that would be fantastic if he was you know because he's pierce's half brother they could do a storyline like that where he just you know comes around it here and again because he got the inheritance so he owns i'm assuming owns hawthorne wipes at this point i know they kind of kicked pierce out a little bit but like i wonder what it goes for him now did he just get all the money did he get the whole company or what but that will be super interesting to see if he does come back. I would love to have some more cameos from him because he is a fantastic fucking act actor. One of my favorites, but amazing episode too, dude. You know, it's, the show always has good lessons in it. It, it. it truly, truly does, man. And this episode, like, Abed ended up saving the day, you know? Nobody wanted him to stay back with the, the girl from the village, which, yes, I know it's all she's a program and stuff like that, but still, nobody wanted him to stay back, but he did. They came back through, and this dude literally built up an empire, and without that, they would not have fucking won. And then Pierce coming in at the end on the fucking nuke. Look at me now, Dad! <laughs> like, literally coming in to nuke him was fucking amazing, you know? I just they did such a good job with this episode like i i don't know any other sitcom that does shit like this you know what i mean like what sitcom out there does things like this man i don't know i don't think there is one and that's what i love about community because you never know what you're gonna fucking get and i am so sad we are coming to the end of the season we have two episodes left because this season has been peak and i i don't know I don't know if they can top this season, man. Now, that doesn't mean that I think I'm going to, you know, not enjoy the rest of the show. But, like, when you hit peak in a show, there's a certain point you can't really go past it, man. Now, I will say this entire season, every episode, I'm like, damn, how are they going to top this? And they just top it time and time again, man. Like, I want to... By the time I finish the show, I want to do like a tier list of my favorite episodes or something because this show has had some fantastic fucking episodes, man. And I just, I, I love it, man. I'm so glad I started Community, you know, going into it. I had no idea what the fuck to expect from it. And then when I was watching it, I was like, all right, we're just a community college type thing. And then to see what they've gotten into now toward the end of season one, throughout season two, and all of season three, it's been fantastic, man. I know the show kind of struggled, especially I think during season, like these later seasons when it was airing, but like, man. Man, it just makes me think this was really underappreciated because this show is so unique it has so many guest stars it has such good storylines has such good messages like i don't know why it did not perform the way it should have i know like i said i don't know how the earlier seasons really did but i know the later seasons struggled and kind of aired on different things and had some problems but man i just feel like like it it, it was underappreciated because this shit is fucking fantastic man regardless let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section down below like always if you guys did enjoy this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to the next four episodes if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on guys i hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below what is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel. I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. 
Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Alexander Collins, and the homie Christopher Larimer. Your guys' support is much appreciated. If you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full-length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.